A very warm welcome from the UK on day five of uh, Starlink ownership. And I want to share a couple of things with you just to close off the week. So the first thing I want to talk about is why running a dual WAN may cause you issues in terms of statistics. The next thing I'm going to talk about is gaming, online gaming. And lastly, I'm going to touch on why location really does matter. So let's get right into it. First of all, if you're running dual WAN into a router, I don't know if it works on other routers or not, but with the, the Asus GTAX 11000, if you static route to get the statistics from the dish, you're not going to be able to do it. Basically, it works for a few hours, then it crashes out. Now, the only way I've got around this is by yeah, wiring in another router to my old modem and having a separate network, which my wife uses. And it means that I don't get abused anymore for internet crashes. But it also means that in terms of my main router, the statistics always stay there. They haven't moved and I've got the two static root IP addresses that I, I shared with you yesterday. That's a 01 and a 24. So that works and that is, in my opinion, fairly good news because that moves me on to the next thing, location. And I know I said location was going to be last, but let's do it now. So location really does matter. I've had some obstructions and it says, I think 15 seconds of obstructions and I've had some downtime and I've had some time where there's been no satellites. Now I can only imagine, based on the location of my dish and where it's pointing, that it was pigeons or birds or, or something else. I don't, I don't know what's caused those obstructions, but there's nothing else up there to make that happen. But the Starlink system has recorded obstruction, so I'm gonna assume it's a bit of a, an anomaly. Yesterday when I checked, there was zero obstructions and today, 15 seconds. So that, of course, led to some crashes. So one thing I would do is encourage you where possible, get this thing as high as you can. I know it sounds obvious. It's got to see the sky. It's got to see as much of the sky as is possible, depending on where you live. And for me, it's a case of trying to get it higher away from the trees and it seems to work okay. And lastly, I'm going to touch on gaming. So I'm not talking about your Fortnite uh, and all that kind of stuff. My son has been doing Fortnite a lot and he's not happy. <laughs> it crashes loads. Uh, there's loads of lag. He gets booted out of games all the time. Me, on the other hand, I play little mobile games. I play Clash Royale. I sometimes play Gears of War on my Xbox and I really enjoy it. I haven't tried that on Starlink and I, maybe I will. But in terms of the mobile gaming, I've noticed that I cannot do it. I mean, this little game it requires very specific timing and timing is everything in these 1v1 2v2 games and I keep losing and it's very frustrating for the other person and there's loads of emotes and loads of anger going around and I know we're still early days I know we're better and all that stuff but it does matter to me and I love gaming when I'm working out say I sit on a static bike and I just want to game for a bit to not think about cycling for a while and it just crashes out. So I end up going on the 4G or my backup network, which I've created for my wife. And I'm kind of sad that I can't use Starlink to do basic gaming. I do want to say this. I do believe that Starlink is the future, especially for, for me here in the countryside, of broadband or connectivity to the internet. It's, it's, it's great in terms of uploads, downloads, and all that kind of stuff. I've had a couple of field uploads today. I was trying to upload some uh, a 13 gigabyte video file and it failed. But I'm okay with that because I just restarted it and it only takes a couple of hours. Whereas before, as I said, it takes ages. So I am happy that I've been an early adopter of this. I'm happy that I'm paying for it. That sounds nuts. And I've said before that I feel like a guinea pig. But I'm okay with that because it's cutting time down. I'm spending less time in front of the computer, more time with my family where it matters. So if you need a reason to sell starting to your other half, 
that's it. You'll spend less time in front of the computer. Or will you? There you go. That's day five. I hope you've enjoyed it. Whatever you do for the rest of the weekend, have a good one and I will catch you later.